Hey fans, this is the headliner Chris Michaels and you are watching Realistic Fishing. So I'd advise you to keep it realistic. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. We're gonna do a little panfish fishing because I was bass fishing earlier and I'm not gonna bore you with the details. I tried three lures, a Ned rig, a Texas rig, and a swim bait. Zero bites, nothing. So now we're fishing a float rig with a BG1 jig head and one of my favorite panfish baits of all time, Gulp Alive one inch minnow. Let's get rigged up and see if we can't salvage this trip and get a fish or two. We're just gonna cast randomly till we find some fish, then maybe we'll focus on that little area, but if it's anything like the bass fishing, there's nothing around. Like I said, I tried an hour and three different lures, not even one bite. We're hoping to grind out a nice bluegill, maybe sunfish, crappie, small bass. I've even caught a catfish on a gulp minnow at this small lake before. Come on. Come on. I saw something way out there. Looked like a bluegill on the surface maybe. This is Mark Ridgeway from New Hill, North Carolina, God's Country. You're watching the best fishing channel on YouTube. Realistic fishing. Keep it realistic. Man, it's such a nice day. It seems like there'd be fish everywhere. It's so hard to even get a bite. There we go. Got one. There we go. Let's see what our first fish of the day is. Nice big bluegill here. Nice one. Yeah, nice eight inch bluegill. Oh yeah, good first fish. Good first fish. Nice eight inch bluegill. Good fish, good size. There we go, another one. Another decent bluegill, I think. Good fight on this one. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that is a beefcake of a bluegill. Even bigger than that last one by about a half an inch. Look at beyond my wrist there. Yeah, yeah, good one. Definitely a keeper if I was looking to keep some bluegill. Cool, cool, so far so good. Two nice big bluegill. Let's see if we can get another one. I probably have a better shot at catching a bass on a gulp minnow than I do a Texas rig or a swim bait or anything else today. There's another fish. Another nice bluegill here. Yes. Yes. BG1 is doing a good job. Hooking them right in the top lip. Nice, tall. Look at the belly. This one is curled up 
about seven and a half, eight inches once again. Good size though, good size. I think I'm onto something here out there in the slightly deeper water. It's probably three or four feet out around that tree. That's where I'm getting my bites. Got another one, another nice jumbo bluegill. I can feel them pulling. Yes, look at that thing. Another nice one, another eight incher. All right, should we stay here and grind it out for eight inch bluegill or should we walk down this way? See if we can't find something else. This is a pretty good spot. You don't want to leave fish to find fish. But I want to find something else. Got him. Little bit of fight. Little bit of fight. Oh, another jumbo bluegill. I think this might be the biggest one yet. Nice eight incher, maybe eight and a half. His nose is going past my finger on this side. Gorgeous, gorgeous gill. All right, we're doing it. We're going down this way to see if we can find something other than bluegill. Yeah, let's go try down here at the point. Well, it's looking different over here. We got some stumps in the water still, but we also have about four or five trees down and it looks like four of them are in the water. This could be good, it could be bad. Hopefully we won't get snagged. Come on, who else wants to be on the show? I'm Tammy from Texas and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Oh no, oh no. Oh man, oh man, is the hook going to give? Dang it, dang it, oh, I lost the float too. All right, I've got a new hook tied on. We're going with an Aberdeen hook this time so I don't keep losing my good BG1s. I took a risk fishing over here by all the down trees. Sometimes that's what happens.
Got them. Got them. This is where they're at. Oh, what is this? Oh, mega jumbo. Mega. Holy cow. Holy cow. Way bigger than my hand. Look. Look at this. We're going to get a quick picture with this one. All right, boys and girls, this is a huge bluegill jumbo. I'm talking jumbo. Let's let it go. That was amazing. Biggest bluegill I've caught in a long, long time. I got time for one more fish. I don't think we're gonna outdo that, but we'll see what we can get. Fish, got another one. Not quite as big as that last one. Still though, really nice size bluegill. Another eight incher. Woo! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. If I was keeping bluegill tonight to eat, I would definitely have a nice meal. My name is Dewey Cash, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Well, that's it for today. Like I said, I am super glad I switched to bluegill fishing. Bass, not so hot right now. Bluegill, on fire, especially with some of those bigger fish. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.